And that hot and stormy pattern continues for our Thursday. Some spotty showers early. We get some dry time and that's when we really warm up. However, the afternoon and evening still features that potential for stronger thunderstorms. Here's a live look out of our 13 WRX camera right now. We're seeing that gloominess, but we're also starting to see some sunshine peeking through. So that's what we can expect as we move forward into the rest of our morning. But a lot of us are still dealing with some of those spotty showers. Here's what exact track looks like. A lot of that activity really starting to fizzle out, but still some lighter rain through parts of Greene County into Freeport. Now seeing that approaching Winnebago, then Rockford, and we're seeing a lot of that even further south really starting to die down and not a whole lot coming in behind it. Still going to hang on to some cloud cover, but again, later today we get some dry time, may even see a little bit of sun. That's going to be all before we see this potential this afternoon and evening. Most of the area under a two out of five when it comes to today's risk, and it does include all of those threats, even for those in a one out of five in the green. The threats for today are damaging wind gusts, large hail, tornadoes, and even heavy rainfall. But a lot of that again comes in a little bit later. So as far as the morning goes, we may still see a light sprinkle or two. This is about 930. Notice we dry things off heading into lunch, more dry time into the early afternoon. Once we get past the four o'clock hour, that's when we start to see some of those thunderstorms bubbling up. They slide into northern Illinois and now about six o'clock, some of these cells may pack a punch. We're also going to bring heavy rain and again, hail damaging wind gusts and even tornadoes all on the table for today's potential. This continues to move through overnight and some of these cells may slow down a bit and with the cells having heavy rain may lead to areas of flash flooding. So keep that in mind. This is about 1130. So a lot of us wrapping up for the night and then heading into early tomorrow. We might still see some lingering showers and thunderstorms. Otherwise, we are still hot and humid. Even this morning right now, we're in the low to mid 70s. We climbed to those uh, mid to upper 80s. And if we get enough of a clearing again, we're going to warm things up even more. So regardless with the dew points, your heat index value is still in the low 90s. Those stronger thunderstorms are possible later today, so make sure you stay weather aware. Some will linger into the overnight hours as the heat then is still with us. We dry off into tomorrow, but look at what it'll still feel like for your Friday afternoon. Still like we're in the upper 80s and then Saturday. Well, much of the same. Those feel like temperatures are back near the 90s, so we are still hot and humid even into your Saturday. But hey, at least this time we trade in the rain for lots of sunshine in your most accurate 10 day forecast. We will hang on to those 80s and then we slowly start to drop. There are low chances for rain starting Sunday moving forward. We'll have to see how that shapes up into early next week. However, your temperatures do end up dropping into those low to mid 70s, Manny.